Coming up on this episode of the Preston North End Weekend Warm Up, we'll be looking back at the win at West Brom. We'll be going behind the scenes with Cameron Archer on his first day at Preston North End. And we'll be looking forward to the Bristol City game with Andy Fenton. All that and so much more on the Preston North End Weekend Warm Up. Yes, indeedy, and what a week it's been. Lows and then highs. And if you went to West Brom, you might want to revisit yourself with the limbs when all the goals went in. Lows to come, but let's start by reminding you what a win it was at West Brom. Start here, Ham. Into the box. Oh, oh, that, that's a penalty. Kipre, well, he caught him. Emil Reese thinks it should have been. Let's have a look at it again. He goes in. Does Kipre catch him? Does for me. Whiteman. Nice ball through. Emil Reese with the shot. At an angle. They're getting closer, North End. All that wide for Evans. Got a couple of men in support if he wants to use him. Whiteman slips it through. Greg Cunningham is across the middle. He's gone in. It's a goal. One nil to North End. Now, who got that? Emil Reese is claiming it. It's a great combination work from North End. Cunningham with the cross. Did it hit Emil Reese at the end? He'll say it did. Long ball full for Chad Evans. Oof. Again, North End. Route one stuff. North End just trying to take control at the edge of the penalty area and oh! That's a penalty! That's another one! He's booked him! He's booked him! He's given it a yellow card to Emil Rees. Goes through from Alan Brown. He's got his hands on his back. Well, that's it for Emil Reese, and it's hello on his debut for Cameron Archer. He's got 26 minutes to make an impact. Oof, so near there. Alan Brown at the back post. All right, just needed a touch. Here come North End again. Coming forward down the far left-hand side. We've got men in support. Cunningham with the cross. Can Archer? Yes, he can! North End have surely now done enough to win it. 2-0, scenes in the away end, and have North End picked up their first win at West Bromwich Albion for almost 50 years. What a debut for Cameron Archer. That's it, it's all over at the Hawthorns. North End secure the win. A great debut for Cameron Archer, a goal for Emil Reese, 14 for the season from him now. And you can see exactly what it means to Ryan Lowe and the travelling faithful. It's fantastic. I said to the lads on, on the touchline, on the the, um, the dugouts here, I said the fans haven't stopped singing um, and, and, and that's credit to them because that's what we want but they've seen the work we're doing I think, they've seen the results that are coming, they've seen the, the performances, they've seen the lads now, not saying they didn't under any regime but you know you can see that the lads are working a little bit different than they used to yeah, and they're starting to believe and so are the fans and rightly so. Yeah, it was brilliant, you know, it's always good uh, winning away from home and, you know, the fans come and the numbers again on a, on a Wednesday night and uh, I thought they were terrific. Um, so hopefully we can get them all back to Deepdale on Saturday and we can get another win. So there you go, a first goal in his first match for Preston North End. What a start for Cameron Archer. On loan from Aston Villa and finding out what life is all about here at Exton. And you want to know as well, don't you? Do you? You do. Come on then, let's have a look. Cameron Archer's first day at Preston North End. I'm excited, um, ready for the challenge and can't wait to get started. Yeah, it's been um, yeah, a good journey so far and you know, I've uh, uh, had the opportunity to go on loan and express myself. Ho yeah. Hopefully um, get some experience, um, some gains under my belt and hopefully scoring goals. Hopefully, hopefully reach the playoffs. Um, you know, um, as soon as I start training, um, Work together as a team and better ourselves and start winning. Yeah. 
So I'm from the young, up-and-coming go-getters to Andy Fensom. If you're watching Andy, sorry, not sorry. If he's not watching, this is just our secret. Let's not tell him. So Andy Fensom, of course, former right-back at the club, part of our commentary team at the Hawthorns during the week and part of our academy team every day of the year. So we'll hear more about the academy in just a moment, but let's start with Fenners about a look back and how good that win at West Brom was. It was really good. I thought Preston deserved the win. 
thoroughly deserved the win, the three points. I thought West Brom were poor on the night, but I think that's down to the way Pre Preston played, the way the game went. Um, and so three points was a massive result. What pleased you most about the performance? Uh, no goals. I mean, at the end of the day, not conceding is being, a, <laughs> being an ex-defender. is a massive thing, I think. If you don't concede goals, you've... You've always got a chance of then going to score at the other end. There's always really going to be an opportunity. And I think the other night really proved it that once once we got the ball down and started playing, we, we produced the best chances. I think that's the first clean sheet in nine or ten or something like that, isn't it? Certainly in the in the championship. And as a right back's perspective, then, how would you like the, the job you know that Brad Potts has been doing or that, that Sep maybe did for a while as well? I can see you bombing up and down all day long, up, down, up, down, up, down. You'd love it. Oh, I would love it, but I think I got to the halfway line and just stopped because I got nosebleeds when I was that high up the pitch. So wingbacks weren't thought of years and years ago. So the, listen, the wingback role now is uh, is almost a, a winger's role. It's a hard-working, positional role that um, is very attacking. You want to attack. You want players that are comfortable on the ball. Um and they set up chances. From a fan's point of view, it's really good to watch, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's open football. It's uh, it's attacking football, which the manager wants. Um, you can see that the players are trying it. The, the players are it's working at times. Um, you had Greg last last night. He he was getting up and down the left hand side, and Greg I think got, set up both the goals, didn't he? So it's all good. He says, he says not having to like. been. <laughs> What's not to like? Yeah, yeah, I was watching it on iPlayer or I follow P and E. I play something different. Sorry, everyone. I follow P and E. I think I got away with that. I watched it on I follow P and E. So you know, you were there. You know yeah. it. And and before we talk about you a bit more, the atmosphere. Like I say, I was watching it uh, on the computer. It sounded awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely stadium. I mean, playing at most stadiums under night is special for a player. But to play there or to go there last night, it was a nice night to play football on. There didn't seem to be any win. The pitch was firm. And like you say, when you win and get three points, it's, it's magnificent. Our fans, our fans are magnificent. Yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, last night you could hear them all the way through the game. Obviously, when they scored, they, they took it up another notch. The West Brom fans were obviously in the doldrums at the minute. They were booing at half time, which as a P&E supporter, that, that's great to hear. Uh, because it means that the team were doing something right. And uh, to win the game and listen to them at the end of the game is, is, is always special. And I'm hoping that everybody got away quite quickly last night because it seemed like the ground had emptied by the final whistle. <laughs> anyway, let's move on in terms of you, because uh, we all remember you as a high-class player, one of our players of the season. I was going to say not that long ago, but it is quite a, a long time ago. Long, long while ago. Long, long while ago, Si. Makes me feel old. I'm similar age to you. <laughs> so, so all good. But now you are part of our academy set. You have been for quite a while, to be fair, as well. Best part of a decade, probably, or so, now that you've been there. So tell us about your role now. Uh, the role now is I'm a professional development phase under 18 slash under 16 coach slash under 19 coach because we've, we've gone up an age group now. Day-to-day uh, -day wise, I, I coach the, the squad, the players that we have. We take from school, obviously, into a two-year uh, scholarship. And uh, it's, it's my part of my role is to develop them personally and, and professionally as a footballer. How much satisfaction does that give you when they're going out there and they're, they're moving through the ranks, whether they be local lads who've come through or the cream of others that, that have come to us because they know how well we treat the kids? Listen, it's a fantastic job. I'm a, I'm a lucky person. Uh, I'm doing something that I love day in, day out. I've been lucky enough to be in football now for a long, long while. Uh, and so every day I'm out on the grass with the players, we're... I'm not saying we're having fun because it's work. We are we're working towards a goal for them. Now, some will achieve at this club, some won't achieve at this club. But if they go on to other clubs and do do well, then that personally, that's that's what we all are, as coaches down at the academy are striving for. 
you are allowed to have fun. I think that that's part of it, isn't it? The reason why, if they come in and enjoy it, that is that is allowed. But I know what you're saying. You you do make them work hard for it, and the results uh, look like they're paying dividends. Certainly in the uh, in the league at the moment, they they touch wood. They they're flying, aren't they? The, yeah, the players are playing well at the moment uh, as a team, as a squad. We play pretty much similar to the first team uh, as much as we can. We're trying to play the wing backs as high as we can. We try and attack. If you look at our results, we, we tend to score lots of goals. Um, thankfully, at the other end, we're not conceding as many as we used to. We, we, we're sort of becoming solid. And, and that's down to the players working hard day in, day out. Uh, and not just the players that play, but the squad of players, because day in and day out in training, they're the ones that make each other better because they have to perform. Um, and if you want to play in the team, then you perform well. Uh, and that's getting us results at the minute. It looks like we need to put another 50 pence in your meter on your computer. It's oh, I don't know whether it's you slowing down or the computer can't catch up, up with you. But uh, but either way, it's always great to talk to you. We'll do it. We'll do another <laughs> chat. Add a longer distance and talk about you a bit more. Is that would that would that be something that you'd be interested in one day here on the weekend warm up? I'm not comfortable about talking about me, but yes, it'd be nice to talk again. Cycles, obviously. Yeah. Right, let's look onwards, upwards and forwards. Bristol City, the visitors this weekend to Deepdale. We will hear from the manager, Ryan Lowe, in just a moment. But cast your mind back just over a year ago and a certain young up-and-coming goalkeeper was making his debut for Preston North End against... Bristol City, yes, absolutely right. Five points for you. And just over one year on, is Daniel Everson still loving life at Preston North End? You bet he is. I've been really happy here. Some good people around the club and all the players. And uh, that was why I, my decision was to come back in the summer and take other seasons here. Um, so, yeah. I think that the more, that the less the goalkeeper's got to do, the better, really. That's not always the case again. Look, you know, Bristol have got some good good firepower there and we know that and we respect that but Daniel's changed this game a little bit um, you know again Daniel's not ours he's, he's Leicester City's and they play a, a brand of football which I'm certain, I think will certainly help Daniel in the future if he, when he does go back to them and if he does play for them but in terms of our style we, we have changed obviously a little bit and well big bit really of how we want to play because I think it's the, the right way uh, and you know not just Daniel but all the lads are learning that on a daily basis. Most, we have a other style of play now and this start for me uh, I have to take the decision we have to play out or we have to go long um, so if we can we have to to play short but it's my decision really but um, yeah this affect me a lot also. Yeah well look you know Nigel Pearson's a good bloke first and foremost good manager being there seeing it done it uh, you know, he'd like to be up the echelons of the division where, you know, where I think Bristol City would like to be themselves. But you know, still got some fantastic players. The, the results have been a little bit indifferent over the course of the year. Uh, but what we've got to do, Tom, we've got to worry about ourselves. We'll pay them the respect they deserve. And, you know, we'll, we'll be about what Preston North End do Saturday afternoon. Because we know it's going to be a different type of game of what the games have been in the last few weeks. We've got some good attacking players. Um, we've got to make sure that we're on it. And that is almost that. If you're coming to the game this weekend, or you want to and you haven't got your tickets yet, you can buy them online, mypne.com. You can buy them in person at the ticket office right up until kickoff. If you've already got your ticket, don't forget the fan zone. It's on the corner of the uh, Sir Tom Finney stand and the Alan Kelly town end. And it's open before the game and after the game, Bolland Brewery beers have got half price. Not bad. Talking of special offers as well, online, North End Online Club Shop, or at Deepdale, this away top, isn't it nice? Mm, one of them, 25% off. So if you want to get one of those, now is the perfect time to do so. And I think that's it for now. Like, subscribe, wherever on earth it is, and keep saying it, Keep doing it. Come on, you whites!